Welcome to the Stock Market Hunger Games, where 24 stocks go head to head to see who is the best and who I will buy. To get our contestants, I went to the all knowing Wall Street Bets, wrote down any stock mentioned in the top post, and put them in the games. In order to keep it interesting, we added some stocks from their arch nemesis, Jim Cramer, a couple of safer tech stocks that I saw ads for, and then a stock related to eggs, because I started this right during the peak of the egg shortage. Let's meet our contenders. In no particular order, we have Uber, Tesla, Starbucks, Spy, GameStop, Nokia, AMC, Naked, Robinhood, Nintendo, Google, Airbnb, Bed Bath & Beyond, Carvana, Netflix, AMD, NVIDIA, Halliburton, Benson Hill, Palo Alto, Arc, Amazon, and Microsoft. Oh, and of course, I threw in VW, because I want their electric van. Plus, the short squeeze, the something like that. Wall Street bet. Anyway, with all of our contestants ready to go, let's get to it. Our contestants are just grabbing things from the cornucopia. A sword here for Google, Amazon gets some throwing knives, but oh, Palo Alto gets in and gets killed by Tesla right out of the cornucopia. Bad luck to our first death. Uh, everyone else is running or grabbing various items. Why, why a lighter and rope? What the hell? Uh, whatever. Oh, oh, okay, okay, fishing gear. Not, that's interesting, fine. And people grab some backpacks, and, and that's it? That's it for the rush for the cornucopia? Some people working together to get supplies. Wow. Not the most exciting first day. Okay, day one. Okay, and an odd group of hunters out there. Volkswagen, Tesla, Benson Hill, GameStop. Uh, Carvana attacks NVIDIA, but he manages to escape. More injuries. Ooh, and Amazon poisons Google's drink, and he dies. Ooh, tough luck, Google. That's two out in day one. Uh, still questioning sanity. Oh, a food drop for Nokia. Bed Bath & Beyond is healing Netflix's wounds. Okay. And our deaths for day one are Google and Palo Alto. Oh, and wow, Bed Bath & Beyond healing another person. For some reason, it seems like their leadership has no idea what they are doing in these games, just like in real life. Uh, we have another weird pairing of people, once again with VW, telling ghost stories this time. Seems like a more stable group, though. Okay, Amazon using AMD's processor to keep themselves warm for the night. Uh, oh, crap, I was wrong. The rope was a great pull earlier, as Ark strangles Nokia for their food. Ooh, and a scuffle breaks out between Halliburton and Naked versus Airbnb and Netflix, with the latter pairing come out on top. Halliburton and Naked go down. Oh, and the egg gets some explosives. Okay, day two starts off immediately. We have Carvana begging to be murdered by Robin Hood, which they refuse. Surprising, since they're good at taking things away from people when they need it most. Airbnb constructs a whole shack, still probably... $100 a night with some hidden fees, okay? Spy goes after NVIDIA, a bold move, and it doesn't pay off because the egg comes in and defends with their explosives, killing Spy. And the rest just, oh, nope, never mind. NVIDIA, AMD blows themselves up with a landmine. Probably forgot the thermal paste, okay? Uh, and day two, we have fallen tributes of Nokia, Naked, Halliburton, Spy, and AMD. Uh, let's get a quick kill count here. with see who our leaders are. We have Airbnb and Netflix, both with two kills. Everyone else at one or less. Okay, night two. Oh, another intense moment. Right off the bat, we have Amazon, Microsoft, and Arc teaming up to kill AMC, Uber, and Starbucks. Tough call on who to root for on that one. Robinhood and Carvana threaten a double suicide and die. Wow, Robinhood spared Carvana just to die together. That sure was a choice. Okay, okay. Bed Bath & Beyond finally stops playing healer and stabs Tesla in the back with a trident. Okay, okay, and... Uh, no! Oh god, no! Nvidia, what have you done? My poor baby Volkswagen. You will be missed. Okay. Anyway, and and the egg thinks about winning. What do you, what do you mean, thinks about winning? We're not thinking... Were you not thinking about that before? Was the plan to just roll over and die, you... You egg? Okay. Anyway, day three. Uh, slower start than the last couple days. Uh, Microsoft brings that tranquility by blowing themselves up with the landmine. The tech stocks don't seem to do too well on their own. Uh, yeah, wow, that's it for day three. Our fallen tributes being AMC, Uber, Starbucks, Robinhood, Carvana, Tesla, BW, and Microsoft. Wow, that was definitely a more intense day than the other ones. Uh, not a good day for car-related stocks, though, huh? Okay, uh, anyway, night three. Oh, the, e the egg is crying themselves to sleep. Thinking about winning was too much to handle, I guess. Airbnb is now playing the medic and healing GameStop. And, okay, Beth, Beth and Beyond, I guess, is also thinking about winning. So everyone else is just thinking about losing other than those two. Fine. It's fine. 
And okay, we have a, a feast. The feast starts off with an immediate ambush. Okay, Nintendo, the egg and GameStop are able to kill NVIDIA, Netflix, and Amazon. Okay, okay. That's justice for Volkswagen, so I, I'm not biased. I, I swear. I swear. Um, okay. Uh, the, the other two don't go to the feast and just grab some supplies, so nothing too bad there. Day four, and GameStop decides to do what I do every day instead of editing videos, and they, they sleep the whole time. And other than that, no, nothing exciting happens. So that brings our fallen tributes for day four to NVIDIA, Netflix, and Amazon. Okay, let's let's get another kill count as we're getting farther through the field here. So we have GameStop at three kills, Nintendo three, Airbnb two, Bed Bath & Beyond one, Benson and Ark are both at four, and tied with Amazon at four for top kills right now. So we have a three-way tie. If these two win, of course, Amazon will be the one to get it because of that rule. So, so yeah. So, three-way tie. Three-way tie, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six contestants left. Okay, wow. Night four. We have a three-way standoff between Benson Hill, GameStop, and Ark. With GameStop coming out on top, that means uh, th the three stocks that were tied for the lead are dead and tied with four kills. And GameStop technically takes the lead with five kills there since it just got a double. That's That could shake some things up at the top here. Okay, okay, but rip, rip the poor egg. He was doing so well. Little buddy. Okay. Uh, day five, Bed Bath & Beyond is traveling to the high ground, which might be the final time it's, it's at a high point. Um, and yeah, no one else dies today, so our tributes are Benson Hill and Ark for the day that are dead. And we're going on to night five. Night 5 and GameStop is now begging for death from Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, of course, this two would be in the final four, just my luck. And, oh, final three, because Airbnb just dies from hunger. The remaining three tributes hunt for other tributes. Genius. Okay, seriously? What the hell? And yeah, Airbnb died. Okay, uh, night 6, and oh my god, Nintendo breaks the truce, stabs GameStop in the back while they hunt for nobody. And then Bed Bath & Beyond starves to death. That means we have a winner just so shy of a week-long Hunger Games for Nintendo. Wow, what a match. Congrats, Nintendo. Uh, hopefully you do well this year and sponsor me to go to Nintendo World at Universal. That'd be dope. So our final standings here are Nintendo receiving $100, Bed Bath & Beyond receiving $50, GameStop receiving 25, and then we have a three-way tie between Benson Hill, Amazon, and Ark for our, our kill count. And I'm going to be honest, I, I rolled that off screen and <laughs> forgot to record it, and Benson Hill won. So could I, could I just fake the dice roll? Yeah, absolutely. It's Google, but we're not going to do that. So $75 goes to Benson Hill. Well, I did buy those stocks at their market price that day, which you can see on the screen now. Then I waited 69 days and checked in on the price again to see how it did and how the other contestants would have done. And yeah, I got shafted. So looking at our chart, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and Benson Hill are at the very bottom. Uh, Nintendo was also in the red, and GameStop was the only one of our winners that was in the green. So how much did this Hunger Games lose me? Well, side note, I also bought $300 worth of Volkswagen that day, and in total, lost $108.99 on the stock market because of these purchases. If we take out Volkswagen, it was $94.56 after 69 days, which is 38% of my investment gone. So thanks for watching. Let me know what stocks should go in round two of the stock market Hunger Games. The top 24 upvoted in the comments might be entered. No promises, though.